In previous lecture, I discussed the set identities. Today, I will discuss some examples. Example 6 is set builder notation and logical equivalence to establish the force de Morgan law. A intersection B complement equals to A complement union B complement. I already discussed we can represent set in two ways. One is roster method where we list out all the element and another is set builder notation where we write the properties like x belongs to something like this. And I already discussed logical equivalence in logic. These are using and or negation. Here in set theory we are using union, intersection, complement. So A intersection B whole complement that we can write as X doesn't belongs to A intersection B. It's by definition of complement. Then this X doesn't belongs to that we can write using negation. So you can write negation of X belongs to A intersection B. Then according to intersection property we can write X belongs to A and x belongs to b this and is from logic and intersection is from set theory so you can write x belongs to a and x belongs to b so now we can apply first de morgan law of logical equivalence so negation of x belongs to a and x belongs to b that we can write as negation of x belongs to a or this and symbol will change to or negation of x belongs to b so this negation of x belongs to a that we can write as x doesn't belongs to a and here negation of x belongs to b that we can write as x doesn't belongs to b then x doesn't belongs to a that we can write as x belongs to a complement and x doesn't belongs to b that we can write as x belongs to b complement x belongs to a complement or x belongs to b complement so then we can combine these two so you can write x belongs to a complement or b complement it is by definition of union and it's same as a complement or b complement hence you prove the de morgan law that a intersection b complement equals to a complement union b complement Next is example 7. Let A, B, C be sets so that A union B intersection C whole complement equals to C complement union B complement intersection A complement. So consider this B intersection C as X, A union X complement that we can write as A complement intersection X complement. So here we will write A complement intersection B intersection C whole complement. This B intersection C I consider as X. It's by the de Morgan law. Next here I will apply the de Morgan law. So B intersection C complement that will be B complement union C complement. Now match with the answer here A complement is at last and here C complement union B complement and intersection is commutative so we can switch the position we can write B complement union C complement intersection A complement again union is commutative so we can switch the position we can write C complement union B complement both are equivalent now this match with the answers hence it proved we can also prove set identities by membership table. Membership table is like the truth table. In truth table, we use true false. Here you can use 0, 1. Now example 8 is the membership table to show that A intersection B union C equals to A intersection B union A intersection C. So we need to create membership table for these two both. If its value are same, then we can say both are equivalent. Let's create the table. There are three set A, B, C. First we will find this A intersection B union C. So B union C, it's like or. In case of or, false or false will be false, rest it will be true. 
So here 0 in run 0 will be 0, rest it will be true. Now check B, C, here is 0, 0, here is 0, 0. So B in run C will be 0 here, here also 0, rest it will be 1. Now A intersection B in and C. In case of intersection or we can say in case of and, true and true will be true, rest it will be false. So here 3, 1, 3, 1, it will be 1, rest 1, intersection 0, it will be 0, then 0, intersection anything, it will be 0. Next we will find A intersection B. It's like and, true and true will be true, rest it is false. So 1, 1, it will be 1, here 1, 1, it will be false, 1, 0, it will be 0, then 0, 1, it will be 0, 0, 0, it will be 0. So all these will be 0. Only first two will be 1. Next A intersection C. 1, 1 it will be 1. Rest it will be 0. Now we need to find union of these two. So in case of union 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1 it will be 1. Rest it will be 0. 3, 1 followed by 5, 0. Now compare both here also 3, 1 followed by 5, 0. Both value are same. So, you can say both are equivalent. Next, generalized union and intersection. So, how can find union and intersection of multiple set? Let's see one example. Example 9. We have three set A, B, C. Now, A contains 0, 2, 4, 6, 8. B contains 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. C contains 0, 3, 6, 9. We need to find A union B union C and A intersection B intersection C. In case of A union B union C, it will contain all elements which are present in A, B and C. So, it will be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 9. Next, A intersection B intersection C. We need to check which element are common in all this set. First check A and B, here 0 is common, 2 is common, 4 is common. Next check with C, so here 0 is common, 2, 4 are absent, so 2, 4 are not common in all this set. So you can say A intersection B intersection C will be only 0, 0 is common in all this set A, B and C. Next definition 6. The union of a collection of set is the set that contains those elements that are members of at least one set in the collection. So we can write A1 union A2 up to union AN. A1, A2, AN all are different sets. That equals to union I equals to 1 to N A of I. And this symbol denotes the union of set A1, A2 up to AN. In this similar way, the intersection of collection of set is the set that contains those elements that are members of all the set in the collection. So the element which are present in all the set that will be an intersection and the element which are present in at least one set that will be an union. And intersection we can write as intersection of i equals to 1 to n a of i. Here a1, a2 up to a n are different set. With this I am finishing set operation. In set operation I discussed different operation like union, intersection, complement, set identities and some examples. In next lecture I will discuss function. If today lecture is helpful for you please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.